Y'all know nothing about this, you need to pay attention. Sit back and relax, it's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. All right, right here in the West End, uh, Dixie and off Algonquin here at 40 Acres and a Mule. Uh, this restaurant has come highly recommended to me. Uh, I actually had a friend of mine, Chris Drunkenmiller, gave me a shout out yesterday. He had been out here and uh, gave me a little heads up to come here, which it had already been on my list, but Chris gave me the nudge. I went ahead and moved it on up my list. Uh, we got African American History Month next week, so it would not be proper if I did not mention the historic significance of the name of this restaurant. Uh, toward the tail end of the Civil War, Union General William Tecumseh Sherman had just completed his famous march to the sea and had moved on into Savannah with his army. Well, while he was on that march to the sea, he uh, basically helped free tens of thousands of slaves and they came, they, uh, all their families came with General Sherman to Savannah and they were camped there with him. So uh, Gerald Sherman called together uh, a group of prominent ministers and he asked them what they wanted to do as far as where they wanted to live. Did they want to live amongst the whites? Did they want to like colonize, have their own land, whatever? And the consensus was amongst the ministers, they wanted to own their own land, have their own schools, uh, their own businesses. So General Sherman, confiscated 400,000 acres of Confederate owned property along the coast of the South Carolina and Georgia. And he redistributed that 400,000 acres to uh, tens of thousands of former slaves. And uh, he, he, the proclamation was that they could own up to 40 acres. And some of these families actually acquired some of the army mules that uh, General Sherman gave them. So General Sherman signed that into order. It was called Field Order Number 15, and he carried it out. That was January of 1865. So then you move forward several months. The unfortunate situation, Abraham Lincoln was assassinated, and newly sworn in President Andrew Johnson reversed General Sherman's order and allowed the former Confederates to have their property back. And in a sad twist of irony, a lot of those families that had owned those 40 acres for the last several months ended up having to be sharecroppers on the same farms that they had just owned. So that's where uh, the phrase that we hear nowadays, 40 acres and a mule comes from. So that's a little snippet of uh, African-American history. Now we're gonna go in and we're gonna check out some of this great food. Got some interesting uh, uh, history stuff here on the walls. Very historic, uh, which goes along with the 40 acres and a mule theme. Yeah, that's a very cool place. Clean as a pin. Look like you can eat off the floors, they're so shiny. Look at that, ribs and chicken and greens. Look at all these sides. Wow, this is better than grandma right here. These homemade desserts. It's like banana pudding there. All kinds of cake and pies. All right, this is gonna be kind of a different review here. I'm actually gonna do it from the inside of my car. I'm gonna to attempt to eat at least some of this here and probably eat a bunch later, but look at this whiting dinner. Whiting is in the cod family. Uh, it's got a real mild taste. It looks like it's a cornbread based Green River style breading. And this is with the mashed potatoes and gravy and mac and cheese. I'm going to do my best to eat this, and it's probably not going to be pretty because I don't have a table, but. Mm-hmm. 
Very tasty. Look at that. Got the whole fish here. All right. Now I gotta try this mac and cheese. Oh yeah. It's good and cheesy. It tastes like it's got at least three different flavors of cheese going through here. Let me try this mac and Oh, this is dressing. dressing. Dressing, my bad. Yeah, I didn't even get mashed potatoes. Mary got mashed potatoes. Mmm. Mmm. And speaking of Mary, Mary just got out of the hospital this week, broke her arm very badly. Bad break. Doctors said they'd never even seen one that bad before. But anyway, she's uh, brave enough to come out here and help me do a review. You made me. <laughs> Well, anyway, that's not so bad a dad making you come out and get macaroni and cheese and stuff. Anyway, we'll be right back with the next item. All right, I'm going to go ahead and taste Melissa's. She got the smothered chicken with uh, dressing and sweet potatoes and green beans. Mm-hmm. Comes with a side of this hot water cornbread. Mmm. We got a bite of that dressing. Mmm. That dressing, you can taste the sage in there. And uh, very good. Let me try these uh, sweet potatoes. I don't generally go for sweet potatoes, but these look good. Mmm. -hmm. Those are excellent too. Sweet but not too sweet. Now the green beans. Good seasoning. Uh, I wouldn't, I don't know for sure if they season them with the pork or what, but very good. And I'll be right back with the next menu item. All right, moving on to the next item. Got the pig's feet, which out my end of town, I don't get to enjoy some good pig's feet, but whenever I get the opportunity where I go places where I can get it, I definitely take advantage of it. So here we go. Well, if I can. Well, I'm having a little trouble here. You gotta be careful when you eat pig's feet, you got a little bone. Oh yeah, nothing like some good pig's feet. And I got the seasoned cabbage. Mm-hmm. I asked for greens, but I got green beans here. Maybe there's greens in one of the next uh, boxes we'll see here. Again, good green beans. All the meals come with this hot water cornbread. Mmm. Excellent. Fried on the griddle. Mmm. Nothing like some good down home southern cooking here. All right, be right back with the next item. All right, moving along here. I got a little uh, care package for McKenzie, but I'm going to try hers out. I got the Linguini Alfredo. You can get it with chicken. But I just got it plain. Mm. I love that Alfredo sauce. Good and creamy and cheesy. It was only $6.95. You can get it with chicken for another two bucks. Very good deal. A lot of food here for the money. Be back. I think I've got one more item left. All right, last but not least, I got Mary's food, and she got one of my favorites of all time, chicken and dumplings. Of course, she can't get enough starch. She got a little side order of mashed potatoes and some hot water cornbread. Go ahead and give it a try, Mary. Tell us what you think.
give it a little description. Come on. It's good. Can you taste the dumplings? Let me see here. Oh yeah, see there's some dumplings in there. Let, can daddy have a little bite? No. <laughs> oh yeah, try your mashed potatoes. What do you think? I should have got gravy. Should have got gravy? Oh, okay. All right, I'll tell you what. All this food is so good. <laughs> I've got to go in. I'm going to see if I can talk to the owner. Because another thing, I heard that the owner, his name is Ron. I heard that he was a really, really nice guy. Does a lot for the community. Can't say enough about him. Uh, but I want to go in and talk to him about his delicious food. And hopefully he'll uh, give us a few words here. Okay, as I said, I want to get a, a few words with uh, the maestro here. Uh, that food was so good, I had to get a few words. And this is Ron owner of 40 acres and a mule uh ron how long you been in business here i've been here 14 years okay and uh did you have restaurant experience before you opened up here 14 years ago Most of my, i got about 40 years i guess about 40 years experience in this business okay i've worked all over this city and are you from oh you you're from here I'm originally from, Louisville. From Louisville. okay and how'd you come up with the name 40 acres and a mule i lived in uh the, the poconos of pennsylvania for about 11 years uh -huh. and i would go back and forth to new york and they all had barrels and so i thought when i came back here i'll make this a part of my borough uh being a black man in business I thought that would be a good way to show back to my community that I support my community. Oh yeah, absolutely. And I, I did a little history snippet on the beginning of my video here, a little kind of little walk down history lane on the origination of uh, the phrase 40 acres and a mule. Uh, but I noticed that you got a lot of uh, vintage uh, things here, uh, like that has to do with like uh, Reconstruction and Jim Crow era and all that. Very interesting, and uh, I just want to let you know I loved your food. Thank you. Is, is there any uh, added words of wisdom you want to give us here? Good food starts at the beginning, so we at the beginning now. Four oh. acres in a mirror. This is the beginning. All right. All righty. Well, with that said, y'all don't know nothing about this forty acres and a mule. That's right. <laughs> now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. You're always welcome back to Goodall's Country Kitchen.